my name is Corey Young. My name is Ashton Rychek. I'm Hi, my name is Michael McDonough. And Hello, my name is Amelia Buckley. Hello, my name is Maya Munoz. Hi, my name is Ella Bolton. Hello, my name is Rachel Bergen. Hello, my name is Gail Silver. I'm a teacher at Bel Air High School. And I'm a senior at Bel Air High School. Heck, I'm a senior at Bel Air High School. I am the magnet coordinator at Bel Air High School. I'm a junior at Bel Air High School. I am a senior at Bel Air High School. I'm a senior at Bel Air High School. I'm the principal here at Bel Air High School. And this, and this, and this is, and this is my Harvey story. So it uh, starts the morning of at around five o'clock in the morning. Um, that's when the water started coming in. On August 26th, I slept over at a friend's house that night, and I woke up the next day, August 27th, to see that the road outside had been flooded. My goal was to get home, so I spent that day trying to do that. We knew with Harvey coming and the flood predictions that our house would flood, we flooded with Allison. And so we started to make preparations. Within 30 minutes that they were gone, there was no water to our streets too. There was four feet of water deep. It was a Saturday, and I remember this because my birthday is August 29th. It was my 17th birthday. The next morning, the National Guard came and they picked up my parents, but they didn't have enough room for me and my sister, so me and my sister had to swim to a boat. And in the morning, around seven o'clock, when my husband went to get the paper, the water started, I mean, it had already started coming in, but it started gushing in. When I think back on everything that happened in August, um, I think a, a word that comes to mind after, at the end of it all, is the word optimism. I mean, like, I'm very optimistic. I'm always optimistic that it's not going to be as bad as they think it's going to be. I'm optimistic that it's not going to hit um, our home or our city or anything like that. And um, so as we went through that, um, then what it came to was, okay, so how do we help people now? And um, one of the things that, that I kind of looked at was, you know, sometimes you can say, well, let me know what I can do to help. And we say that in a, in a very optimistic way or, or helpful way, but sometimes it's giving work to the person who actually needs the help. And so I saw a friend of mine online who had said, don't wait to be asked for help. Grab a hammer and start tearing out some sheet rock.